Hi, this is question 7 from the AQA Mechanics 1 January 2012 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to try the question out yourself, so if you'd like to pause the video now and give it a go. OK, well done if you managed to have a go at the question. I'm now going to um, give you a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. We've got a helicopter that's initially at rest on the ground at the origin when it begins to accelerate in a vertical plane. Its acceleration is 4.2i plus 2.5j meters per second per second for the first 20 seconds of its motion. The unit vectors i and j are horizontal and vertical respectively. We assume that the helicopter moves over horizontal ground um, and for part A we want to find the height of the helicopter above the ground at the end of the 20 seconds. So um, it tells us that i and j are horizontal and vertical. Well this here is our vertical and this is the component of our acceleration that's going to help us decide um, the height of the helicopter above the ground after 20 seconds. So you want to use this with the fact that it's initially at rest to see if you can work out the height. Part B says find the velocity of the helicopter at the end of the 20 seconds. So for this we need both the horizontal and the vertical component of the uh, velocity um, after 20 seconds. So again we should have enough information there um, to work out work that out. Okay, part C um, find the speed of the helicopter when it is at a height of 180 meters above the ground. So for this part, let's think about what we need to do. Um, we want the speed, so in order to work out the speed, we probably need the velocity first. So we need the velocity of the helicopter when its height is 180 meters above the ground. Well, in order to work that out, I also need to know how far it is horizontally. So um, I need to know what time it will be 180 meters above the ground, and then I would be able to decide um, how far it would be horizontally at that time. I could then use the information that I've got from there to work out the velocity and then use that to work out the speed which is the magnitude of the velocity. Okay so those are my hints if you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can have a go at answering this. OK, I'm now going to go over the full solution um, to this question here. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit more room to work in. OK, I'm going to start off by um, writing down all the information um, that I know. Um, so over here, I'm going to write down the word SUVAT. OK, and... I'm going to, um, well I know the initial velocity, it told me, well it's at rest initially, so that's going to be 0, 0, and I'm going to write everything as column vectors. OK, and um, my final velocity I don't know, my displacement I don't know, my acceleration I know is 4.2i plus 2.5j. So I can have a vector for that. And I also know the time is going to be 20 seconds. There you go. Right, so um, for part A, we need to find the height of the helicopter above the ground at the end of the 20 seconds. So I need to know um, the um, J component of my vector after 20 seconds. So I'm just going to look at um, the, um, well I'll, I'll call it the y component um, of each of these. So um, in order to find the height I'm going to say that uh, s equals ut plus half a t squared so I'll say s and it's just the y component equals u t plus half t squared. 
Okay, so this bit here will tell me the height. So um, my y component of um, my initial velocity is zero. So um, I'm going to have so zero times t, which is just going to be zero, plus a half of um, my y component of my acceleration, which is two point five. times t squared and t is 20 so that's going to be 400 okay so that's going to be um, 200 times by that so that's going to be 500 meters okay so um, when my um, after 20 seconds the height of the helicopter is going to be 500 meters. Okay, um, part B, we need to find the velocity of the helicopter at the end of the 20 seconds. So because I want to know the velocity which is going to be a vector, I'm going to use all of this in vector form. So I'm going to say, um, well I want to know V and I know what U is, I know what A is and I want to know what T is so I'm going to say V is equal to U plus A T okay and um, so that tells me that V is going to be equal to U which is zero its initial velocity plus AT, so that's going to be 20, which is the time times by this here, which is 4.2, 2.5. Okay, um, which tells me that V is going to be equal to 20 times 4.2, which is 84, and 20 times 2.5, which is 50. So my velocity is going to be that meters per second okay um, and now part C so oops. right <laughs> part C Draw a line there we need to find the speed of the helicopter when it is at a height of 180 meters above the ground so I'm going to adjust some of this because um, we don't know the time anymore because we're, we're not sure that the time is still going to be 20 seconds so I'm going to get rid of the time from there the acceleration is still going to be the same the um, uh, initial velocity is still going to be the same and this time I know that um, and I'll write it in a different colour um, that this is going to be we don't know the horizontal displacement but we know the height is going to be 180 meters so we can have x and 180 there and we don't know the we don't need sorry we don't know what the horizontal part is okay and what we're trying to find is um, the velocity here right so um, <coughs> to start with um, I know the height and I want to use that information to work out the time. I want to know what time it's going to reach this height of 180 meters. So I'm going to use my vertical components, so my y components. So I'm again going to say that s is equal to ut plus a half at squared okay and we're just looking at the y components we're just looking at the vertical parts of this so we know that's 180 and that's going to be equal to and again that's zero plus a half a t squared so that's going to be a half times 2.5 times t squared which is what we're trying to find okay so that's going to give me um t squared is going to be a hundred and forty four 
which means t is going to be equal to and we'll take the positive 12 seconds okay so um, we now know this part here we know this bit here is going to be and I can write it in here we know this is now going to be 12 seconds okay so we want to know what the speed of the helicopter is so I need to first work out what this velocity here is so um, I'm now going to say well I can use v is equal to u plus a t again okay and remember uh, because I want the speed I want both the horizontal and the vertical component so I'm going to use this in fact the form so um, v is what we're trying to find and u we know is zero zero and a we know is um, that there and we times that by t so that's going to be 12 lots of this here okay so that tells me that v is going to be equal to and we do 12 times 4.2 which gives us 50.4 and we do 12 times 2.5 which gives us 30 and that's going to be meters per second okay and um, we're almost done here um, we've got the velocity now and what we now need to do is work out what the speed is so um, I need to find the magnitude of this velocity so uh, my speed is going to be equal to well I need to do 50.4 squared add 30 squared and I need to square root that there so I've got 50.4 plus 30 squared and we square root that and we get 58.7 meters per second that's our speed okay I hope you found that useful thanks very much for joining me I look forward to seeing you again soon take care